Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is the Security Update Tuesday. Of course, every second Tuesday of the month, it's Patch Tuesday for Microsoft Windows, and it's different products. Today, April 14th, 2020, is of course the second Tuesday for April. And we, uh, of course, talked about how we have several security updates today. Well, what is exactly the classification of this patch Tuesday? Well, it's a pretty big one. Once again, we've had some really big ones in the past uh, couple of months. So basically, uh, if you take all of the Microsoft products, 113 vulnerabilities, these are classified as 15 are critical. 93 as important and 3 moderate to low and we actually know that four of them are um, in the critical side four of them are actively exploited by bad guys so hackers out there are already having fun with uh, trying to uh, basically hack into PCs and uh, devices using these flaws First, let's uh, talk about one flaw that was reported a couple of weeks ago. We talked about it here where the Adobe Fund Manager, um, there was a problem. Uh, Microsoft kind of tried to uh, say, well, it was not that bad because it was very mitigated, but it was still limited attacks using it. Well, you'll be happy to know that there's a fix in the uh, security patch Tuesday today for that flaw for the Adobe Fund Manager. So that is fixed. Apart from that, um, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of vulnerabilities that in different aspects and different services. Uh, if you have Android apps for Microsoft, so anything that is Microsoft apps you have on your Android device, uh, a lot of them will have a update because there's also some uh, um, vulnerabilities that uh, can actually bypass authentication. So uh, just, you know, head on to your uh, Google Play Store and make sure that you check out the devices, the, the app updates. And if you see any Microsoft apps that want to be updated, do it uh, now. And uh, if I look personally, I see that OneNote uh, launcher and anything else i've done some updates yesterday so yesterday also probably we had some so just make sure everything is updated everywhere now the uh, updates once again are mostly for windows 8.1 and windows 10 but windows 7 users on the enterprise with the uh, long-term support can actually get more updates uh, what do we have also in there that are critical? Well, there's uh, in the critical side for Windows, there's a Microsoft graphics component. There's a code execution vulnerability that is critical. Uh, two of them, actually, more than one. And um, we take a look at other things. We also have, if we look more deeply into all of this, the Chakra scripting engine memory corruption flaw. There's also a scripting engine uh, on its own. So these are all capable of, uh, you know, being used in Windows. Microsoft Windows Codex Library Remote Code Execution is a little critical one. And there's a lot of important ones. Important are, of course, less uh, of a problem because most of the time they need to, you need to have physical access to the PC to exploit, but still, you know, you want to fix that. Uh, iPruv, remote code execution in Windows also is uh, there. Um, media Foundation memory corruption in Windows Media. So there's uh, several little things here that uh, need to be fixed. There's some for Microsoft Office, if you use Office also. All of that is updated at the same time, by the way. So, you know, good. Uh, it's, it's a pretty big patch Tuesday. And it's uh, really worth it to make sure that you update your systems. Um, if you are on version 2004, by the way, you also have Patch Tuesday available for you guys in the slurring. So once again, 113 flaws in Microsoft products. 15 are classified as critical, 93 important. Also remember, four of them are already actively exploited on the internet. So that means... Patch your systems, go to Windows Update right now, 
make sure that you have the latest patch Tuesday updates and uh, cross your fingers that everything is going well. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.